Installing the interlock kit. Let's take a look at it. Instructions, which I've read. Whole template. The actual interlock. Now there's often interlocks available for your particular panel. A retainer. And then some labels. So very often there is an interlock available for the model of panel that you have. So we have the screw down here and just a simple setup up there. What you want to do is turn off this breaker. The main to the to the meter. Now instead of that, let me show you what's wrong with this picture first of all. This is a certain location in the house. This is the water heater. This is the generator. This came with the house. This needs to be in 2-4 because this will give us the location for the interlock. The interlock will be here, and what it does is it prevents the 2-4 breaker from moving as long as the mains are on. And I'll show you that here in a second. So we have our, our knife. I say I like to do things nice and clean. So the interlock establishes a relationship between this breaker and this breaker, a mechanical relationship. So as long as the interlock, as long as the main is on, the interlock cannot move up. So you see. And so this breaker cannot be pushed over this way. But once it's moved out of the way, then you can move the breaker over. So, let's take a look at it. So the interlock is down. You cannot establish the connection there. The mains are off. Then you can move the breaker over. This is very important. This is very important not just for yourself and your generator because of the mains feed back into the generator um, damage is likely explosion is possible but if you feed power into the mains you can injure the lineman who's trying to fix the power to your house so it's a great thing to have inexpensive fifty dollars and you got your template. So, we're actually going to turn off all the breakers first. And then we're going to turn off the main. So, Problem, child. All right. There's uh, the supply from the meter is back here. I have 
absolutely no desire to make contact with the black and the black. None whatsoever. So, we have two reds. That's what this guy had done. Two reds going to this breaker. And then we have two oranges going to this breaker. So this breaker, to bring it down here, piece of cake. This one to there, piece of cake. This one to up there. May need new wiring. Well, whatever. The generator one is definitely in the wrong place. So, it doesn't really matter. Generator breaker. Now we're going to bring our water heater down. Looks all right. Mains are off. And this breaker is in the way. Uh, it doesn't really matter where the breakers go. Because the power comes down the center there. So, so presto, we have relocated the water heater. We will label this later, crossing out the old area, adding the new. Add some curvature there. It's not a water pipe, but just cuz. And this, we're gonna relocate right to there. Okay, now, our wires don't reach the breaker. And the plan here is to rewire, change this box out because this is bad news. This implies that the cable needs to be bladed. That's a no no. So we are going to put this to cover that area. So let's see. So we have the two nuts there. That is where this retainer goes. Eh, borderline, but there won't be any current running through this anyway. My challenge today is I don't yet have this box. It'll be arriving Monday. So I'm just going to put these to storage mode. I'm strictly working on the interlock. So there's nothing connected there. I mean, it's okay, it's holding the space covering the center bar for when we put the panel back on. Good to go. So we want to drill two thir three thirty seconds, follow it up with a quarter inch. And we'll get our deburring tool as well. I could just mark it with a with a marker. Work with what you got, people. 
I thought I had a quarter inch. So this is angled, so it'll line up with the hole. All right, now to now to misuse this drill bit, but only temporarily. take our deburring tool nice and smooth rinse and repeat a lot of things for sure I love a lot easier on aluminum. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. Good enough. So now, I'm going to install our interlock. It appears to be symmetrical. Excellent. side we will put lock washer on the bottom washer on top washer on top nut and lock washer on the bottom okay What do you think? Let's find out. All right, so exactly 10 millimeters. <laughs> I should have known. American product, American measurements. Seven sixteenths wrench and our seven sixteenths socket. Okay, let's go back to our panel. Mains are off. Exposed wires are not exposed. Just to go over. This shit barely fits. Anyway, I, I'm more comfortable taking this out to wire it, so this will wait. Well, it's definitely more secure. this box. Oh, came with the house. Okay, so this is now further in. Mains on. Interlock, fully functional. All right, so play with things a little bit. Get them to work properly. Unable to move that over. Alright. 
I could have moved it just a little bit over this way. Otherwise, I can turn this, maybe. It's pretty heavy gauge steel. Anyway. It's good enough for the person who doesn't know what's going on here. Mains are on. Generator. Let's turn everything else back on. House is back. So anyway, mechanical interlock. Not just an excellent idea, but also very likely uh, legally required. Very likely. But regardless of that, excellent idea.